Is the band guy? Please step out. He is tall. Is the band guy? Three. We're all looking at him. What up, y'all? <laughs> yeah. I just said like I won't go. I won't go for it fast. But you they know? did. I I would be like no promises. We'll see who gets there first. You know I would. People be... are liars. Why? It's like so think... awkward and annoying. Let's look at Markiplier's OnlyFans. Hey everyone, welcome back to today's podcast I'm with my brother Mark. We are the gay siblings. Well, the bisexual and the homosexual. We're gonna look at Markiplier's OnlyFans. There's only two posts. Two. And I have some questions about it. This was uh for charity. Donated all proceeds to the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I'm very curious on what he's decided like to do. We don't like him. I mean, I, I don't watch Markiplier. Um, do you watch him? Do you know who he is? I've never heard of him. He does like, um, I think he does like gaming stuff with Jack Jacksepticeye. Do you know who that is? Nope. Great. I love that for us. We are not a part of this uh, bubble on YouTube, but we appreciate its presence. Where's my tea? Um, so I want to review this not only because I actually have an OnlyFans and Mark is gay, but my straight brother was like a huge fan of markiplier and he legit was like yeah i bought it just to check it out and i was like no uh-huh okay how much is it well let's see how gay it is well it is um so uh three dollars for this post and three dollars for this post okay ready our internet's so slow how long did it say how long it was i think it's just a picture it's just to raise it for mm. charity so <clears throat> i kind of wonder if it's just like uh Oh my god, what the hell, honey? What the hell indeed? <laughs> so I mean it's pretty cool. I mean, I didn't expect this editing. I, I didn't expect I this thought it was just gonna be some like sexy room, stuff. like room. Oh, oh. Um yeah, what do we think? <clears throat> I mean he is grabbing my favorite body part ever. The like, calf? The calf. <laughs> yeah. Is it's that his, his own butt? Yeah, I know, butt. I know it is. Look at the portal and shit, but like. I mean, okay, it's very nerdy. I don't know. Yeah, what it's does. nerdy. It's nerdy than it's, I thought it was. I don't know if this is on theme for his like. I wish I could see him talking. Mm. Hold up. Yeah, I want to see like his. I don't know. Mannerism. Ignore my hair. I just went for a run. All right, here's the deal. I will start an OnlyFans if you meet my conditions. If you've been watching my channel for oh a gosh. while, this may not be much of a surprise. You'll probably just roll your eyes you and think? say to yourself, oh, there goes Mark again, getting naked when nobody asked. But if you're relatively new to my channel, this might be slightly confusing mm. or concerning. But rest assured, I know what I'm doing. He's a nice voice. Yeah, okay, that's kind of like his like thing. Yeah. Okay, so here we go back to the photo. Okay, oh wait, there's another one. And they're goofy. He's a goofy. Yeah, he's like a goofy boy. Goofy guy. Do we like that? Is that sexy? Sexy? No. I mean, I just don't know. Like his um. It's kind like of his, sexy. Like the video I was just listening to, I was like, I want to hear your real like. I don't know. Maybe it's the editing is funny to me, or, or like I mean, it's too, I think that's it's goofy. I know it's the e point. Oh, here. Probably. How about this one? Yeah, I just want to hear him talk. About this one? Preferably. Oh wow. Um. Okay. Uh, you guys beat Joe Rogan, which is unexpected, especially in uh, three days. That is he like too much the way, of a YouTuber? like the way he's talking is like kind of like a news anchor person. He he has the YouTube like, flow, like the thing. That's why he's popular. Thirty-four million subscribers. I hate when they talk like that. But that's, it's... I think that's what YouTubers like when they're trying to like, look... is that no. no, that's Charlie. Okay. So hold on. Let me, uh, I don't know what he does. Well, that's why I said, I just want to hear him talking. Cause he's like, it sounds like he's going off a, no, this is like a show. Try not to laugh. He's like a character almost. Hello everybody. Like a... My name is Here, Justin. Fine. Welcome back to the try not to laugh channel. But that's what normal you know YouTubers are. It has not been that long. This one's wow. better. <laughs> Okay then. All right, so it's been a little while, but I'm back home after filming in space with Markiplier and I can't wait to get back to making videos again. And also, have you heard about this? It's not backwards. It's flipping in your brains. It's called distractible. All I gotta say is that you better know what this is or else I'm gonna come find you. It's a little something that Bob Wade and I made. Where this we video has 12 million fucking together. views. There's a link in the description. But like this is like what normal like YouTubers this. are, right? They anyway, have like a shtick. I'm gonna play yeah. some videos here. Because it's like been this a while is him talking laughed. more than Does the last sound video. Natural, more natural? It's more natural, yeah, yeah for me. Times. It's not what I watch. It's Interesting. Not, it's not funny okay. to me at all. But yeah, it's like not. If we're going based on attractiveness, he totally could be. Like if I talk You're to him. You're so dummy. Like like he's not uh, he's not a no he's not an ugly. What about this? It's like kind of cute. I wish it didn't have so many like edited. I wish it was more like a photo shoot, like an actual. 
Okay, that's good. But like an actual photo shoot. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, like this is like heavily. I could do this in my like pick editor. Yeah, totally. Like it's just like a little totally. gimmicky, I think. Yeah. But it's cute. Like obviously he's got a vibe. He's going for it. You know why it is? It's because he's a joke. It's not. He's not a real sex worker. Yeah, exactly. It's just like a joke to raise money for charity. I just wish it wasn't so faux edited. Well, yeah, that's what I. It, I wish it was like he was really in a forest. Like I don't believe he's in a oh, forest. Oh no, right not now. at all. It looks very pop up. I didn't know if that was the point though. Like he wants it to look goofy like that. Maybe like that's the thing is like I wish he was really in a forest. See, I'm too. Okay, no, it's all just like a joke. No, that's like yeah, he's not in a boxing ring. He's literally it looks hilarious. At least he put his butt out there though. Oh um, yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of props. Do do I think boys are very comfortable with their butts? Yeah, I feel like his fans would like it. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I only saw five seconds of his videos. Yeah, I don't know. I like the way he talks. He's a goofy guy. Like, All right, I'm over this. Let's review video together. It's like so much more fun. Like like his like his cutouts for his videos. Your left ear, my right ear. Like, you know how it cuts out to like Scooby-Doo and all that stuff? Like yeah. Every, I, I don't think that's funny. But I think it's, I don't it's, think it's, it's even annoying. like a try not to laugh. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's not like it's so normy, and I feel like I think I take my nudity too seriously. <laughs> like I realize as I'm looking at, it, I'm like, oh yeah. You're judging as a yeah. I'm like judging model. as a okay. like an OnlyFans model, but it's not fair because like that's not what he's doing. Do you want to share your virginal status with the internet or no? Mm, not interesting. You're hey look seven virgin men. That's the number year I'm on. Of being a virgin. Without kissing anybody. Wow, do you want me to leave this in or cut it out? I don't care. It's not really that private to me. Wait, but do you want people to know you're virgin or you don't care? I do not think, I do not care. It's not a big all. deal at all. I don't I mean, even think about it like that. Like a like a privacy thing. Okay, some people might be worried about it. Okay. Um, okay, let's see what they have to say. I've been watching this I'm yet. a virgin. And I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. Super gay ones lying. Oh my god, why is this so loud? I'm sorry, I'm not messing with this volume. I'm so at fuzzy. Why are you virgins? I grew up like Christian, so well, my mom was the main one that was like, make sure you wait, make sure you wait. And so, I don't know, it kind of stuck with me. Uh, for me, I grew up religious like you, but I'm 20 now, so even for the past three years, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the religious aspect anymore. I'm just bad with women. Keep it real, I'm Muslim. Women. For me, it's like, why not just wait and do it through the Sharia, do it through the Dean, because you know, it's not worth going. Hmm. Do these men look like virgins? All of them, um, all I of them I could be. I, I don't know. I, It'd be hard to know. That one, liar. <laughs> It'd be hard to know. He got muscles though. Yeah, yeah, hellfire for me. I mean, so does our. our oh, just kidding. <laughs> don't say names, but like, know, oh, our brother is but our brothers religion, gave virgins because of was religion. Good yeah, but they, yeah, religion. So for me, it's kind of a lot of reasons. One, I was don't, a super late bloomer. I only felt sexual attraction for the first time like four years ago. Looking like I do, women usually aren't like bursting to get down on this. So I haven't had anything sort of just like fall <laughs> into my lap. Yeah, it's, it's not a priority right now. Does, it, does anyone know about... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. What a sweet bean, though. I just like he feels a little too effeminate, I think, for me. Watch him be the liar, so he's like. <laughs> Do you, well, what if he's like a gay, like a gay guy who's pretending to also be straight at the same time, or what if he's just a really effeminate straight man? I don't know how many okay. times, how many layers That's of lies lot. are allowed. Transmutation. What? No. Essentially, what the desire you have sexual transmutation is have to have sex is a very strong desire. Especially if you're a man, put it into the work, put it into the gym. Watch what will happen. You will hit every goal. So that's kind of my reason, yeah. Nice. I mean, I he wanted... is Jax, so like I he know. obviously goes to the fucking back gym. He obviously does. Because I genuinely like want something from you and with you, not for just a simple like Okay, I don't think these guys are all straight. I think this is a mix of everybody. So of course, it has to do yeah. with Christianity as well. It talks about in Romans, offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, which is a Ooh, good and reasonable, reasonable, I'm underlining, reasonable service. It's a gift that I want to give to my future wife. How old is everyone He's here, lying. by the way? 22. 20. He 22. might be. Honestly, what if he was formerly Christian? He knew the, the passages, but then right sure. now, yeah, sure. he like left the religion already. 23. They're also young. I'm 32. 32. I blame him. 32. Dude, it's him, see? <laughs> but then we know somebody who's in his 30s, and he hasn't done it because of his religion. Who? Oh. Isn't he in his 40s? Not yet. Okay. August. Or soonish? I don't know. Um, but isn't that interesting? Three, two, and you ain't never 
Wait, let's talk about that though. Because if you are not married by 32, you will still be a virgin, correct? Right. Yeah, but my God, and he ain't finna do me like that. <gasps> my God loves what he me. Said? It ain't no way you 32. What? No. God, and he ain't finna Married by 32, you will still be a virgin, correct? Yeah, but my God, and he ain't finna do me like that. My God loves me. It ain't no way you 30. Is he saying that his God... Doesn't love him because he's making him wait? No, no, no. I think he's saying that his God wouldn't make him wait. That he's going to send a wife to him. Yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah, okay. But he's saying this guy, there's no way. I'm two in the virgin. I'm, <laughs> I'm 32 <laughs> in no the virgin. I'm just yeah. going to keep it. <laughs> it seemed like he wanted to present the extreme of his religion. Mm. Mm. Uh, Shit. Uh. <laughs> Tell us how you felt. Oh, it was black, black. Thing. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm gonna ask you, like, you're yeah. 32, how does that go? How does it go? It goes, it goes rough. I mean, my body is ready, I want that, I want to be married, but I put more value on my walk with the Lord and my future wife. Have you been in those opportunities where, like, maybe? maybe I could have had me. He's obviously very, he's obviously attractive enough. Like, there's nothing about him that's ugly, right? Like, he's dressed, he has a vibe, he has his hair. Like, he's the oldest and he's... Good looking. I mean, he's referencing scripture, so obviously this is like a, a scripture thing. Maybe this is he like just a... summoned his his Zen side just for the lying part of the video. Like he's like, okay, I just I got I gotta act like I really love religion. So either he used to be religious and isn't religious now, mm -hmm. or he is religious and actually quite dedicated, <laughs> which we meet plenty Jeez, of. But I keep myself away from <laughs> those types of things. Has everybody dated before, or have? You guys had significant others? I, I've only had one girlfriend, so. Yeah, me too, I've only had one girlfriend. I've had two. Uh, I've had a handful. <laughs> I never really had an official boyfriend, okay. but like I had seen like two people, yes. So I'll go out like on dates and whatnot, but nothing really official. And have you guys kissed or? Kissed, uh, yes. Yeah. Nothing beyond the... Uh, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. One of my lawn, uh, relationships was entirely long distance. She was in Portugal the whole time. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. So, like, my lips don't really stretch across the ocean very well. <laughs> Have you guys ever fell in love before? Yeah, sure. I know, I'm sus. Really? Even I'm though you never too. dated anybody. So sure. want to get I'm, down I'm, this? Maybe but what if he that? is actually, like... Because girls kind of do, like, soft boys. But oh, he's, yeah. he's very effeminate, but, like, I kind of feel like... I mean... Girls and know. guys like everything. There's just one like portrayed in media more than others, or or whatever you want to say. Yeah, that's but true. Maybe he is so good at that, like he's comfortable making jokes about himself, and he's like, girls don't really want to get down with this, which I thought was hilarious because he's like, I already got them though. I already got some. Yeah. So I'm not really insecure. About it. Or he's just. I feel like this guy's a virgin, the muscle guy. Yeah, I, I feel, feel like, like he, he is, is too. If he is, I'm gonna be shocked because he seemed pretty genuine about the working out shit. Yeah, I, that's why I think he but actually. But the blonde is. guy, either I don't like him or don't trust him, mm. but I just feel like he's lying. I don't know what. I, yeah, the blonde guy's sus right now. I almost feel like this guy's sus. Possibly, like he's bro. quiet and kind of sweet, and so you ignore him. But I'm like, wait, what about that guy? You have like those high school crushes and whatnot. I don't want to flex or anything, but my car outside, I bought it by myself. It's like 120k. I opened my own company, and that's all because I've stayed focused and not let myself. Actually, there's a YouTuber who's um he's Arab, and I reached out to him once because I was like, oh, we're like, you know, mm -hmm. like we'll get along. He had like really interesting videos, and the next day he was like, hey. No girls in my DMs. I'm not responding to you. Like, I'm busy hustling. And I was like, I wasn't trying to, like, slide into your DMs, bro. I was asking you for an interview. But then I realized, like, there is this whole, um, like, section on YouTube that's, like, go to the gym, hustle, do not fuck girls, do not let them distract you. So I actually believe him. So become a part of, you know, like, what's going on in society. I have a question for you in the last five seconds. I, I feel like a lot of people accomplish a lot wow. of things while still having sex and you just make time for it or you can just like fap and forget about it like yeah, yeah but when they when they do engage in that type of stuff they go through a heartbreak they could be successful but they have to had like this battle before all that happened he kept talking about like his mindset and grind set and it reminded me of like american psycho and that guy oh, oh. that's really funny that's bad, oh, man. Uh... dang that's crazy i i thought i'd be eliminated uh, right away, but I've had naked woman climb on top of me and I, I still say no. And then the next day, I go submit three loans and make like $10,000. Interesting. This man cool. is so um, Middle Eastern, bro. I think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. What? Ooh, do, do we... you think the mole's still in the box? I'm telling you, it, it's Checker. It's, it's this guy. It's Plaid. Hmm. It's this one. 
He's the he's the non virgin. If it's this guy, honestly, nice. that'll be surprising. I really didn't think that at first. Well, maybe he's just got that nerd energy, but girls, I mean, the right nerd girl. Yeah. Some Dungeons and Dragons. But then I don't believe I think he's a virgin. I think he's a virgin. I think this guy or this guy striped or checkered. Oh, oh, interesting. I didn't think y'all were going to raise your hand. I have a bit of a accusation, and so Alex, I think that you made a mistake. Wait, go back to a second. You're here. Go back. Who raised their hand last? Oh, Alex, oh, I question. think y'all were going to raise your hand. Please raise your hand. Okay, wow. so Blondie. Oh, interesting. I didn't think y'all were going to raise your hand. Please raise right away. So why did Blondie say that? Why did he, or the long-haired guy, why did he say, I didn't think you guys would all raise your hands? Which meant that he would assume that somebody thinks somebody outside the box he, he thinks no one would assume he's lying or... or, or. Now he's sus. I don't know. Whatever that meant, now so he's sus. So, Alex, I think <laughs> that you made a mistake and you're here rather to promote that virginity till marriage would have been the better option. Yeah. I've definitely been in the situations where uh, me and my girlfriend were making out and, and there definitely were scenarios that we could have uh, gone farther than that. This is gonna sound bad, but I'm just <laughs> too scared of my mom to be like, hey, I had sex. <laughs> but you only didn't have sex because of your mom. <laughs> when I turned 16, 17, that was when um, I really started uh, diving into the Bible and, and reading more oh. into it and, and kind of creating it for my own, and so. What uh, denomination is your church? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't know which denomination it is, but. Um... Okay. Liar! How do you Liar! <laughs> We're Christians. Okay. So. He's like okay. using Chinese okay. religion as a <laughs> tooth. Your mom and his, as a, the reason, like. And then, well, the problem is a lot of Christians do grow up in non-denominational, and I hate. That's why I'm like, you're a full Christian. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, if you don't know what denomination, if you don't know like scripture, like you're not fucking religious. Yeah, goodbye. But like, okay, but but. I'm trying to think. I don't know one person who grew up in that lukewarm home and didn't have sex. Christians are pro birth control. I'm sure. Versus Catholics. But mm. I'm sorry, your mom has a reason. I'm, I just don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's him. Because it's the teddy bear. It was because he even was... some of our siblings who are with our parents who still mm -hmm. did it. It's like no, bro. I don't know who your mom is, but she's not. She ain't scarier scary. than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what his denomination was like i feel like every religious person knows what their denomination is he definitely cares about his religion way more than i do and i know that my denomination like the back of my hand i don't tell anyone that i'm a virgin it's definitely something i really keep under wraps because i feel very like embarrassed and ashamed of it like i've failed somehow once when i was in college i was in this creative writing class and the teacher declared promise your next assignment is to tell the true story of your first kiss and i was like oh god and then she followed with i know you've all had it and it was like oh double god <laughs> I hate I hate <laughs> Such asshole teacher, not very considerate. What do we what do we count as a first kiss? Because like you remember, um, do you remember our Lebanese next door neighbor? I'm not sure names. Um, I don't remember, but I'm... he was my first kiss on August sixth when I was nine years old. Where the house I was born at. Mm -hmm. You kissed a girl, a guy, or a girl? I I wasn't listening. The did Lebanese. I just say? Did I say the street name just now? No. I have to edit this. I don't know. I'm going to edit it and take out everything I might have doxed us. Um, no, the him. He kissed a boy when you were nine. He kissed me on August 6th. Oh, it was a big peck. Like, were you like, wow, I, I wish you it was like, had more fem feminine features and had long hair? <laughs> nah, because at that time I was pretty, see, I was like bisexual, then I was a lesbian, then I was bisexual again. Yeah. You know? feel pressured to have sex because everyone else is talking about their guy, their girl, and I'm like, okay, I'm just like, what the F, you know? Like, <laughs> I've been in band my whole life, starting oh, in middle school. Oh, a band boy? Band boys get laid. Just kidding, sometimes they do. I will say this, like, I'm glad that I had sex at 22, and I'm glad that I didn't feel a big deal about it. But also, like, sex is about consent. You have to find someone you like enough that you, you know, you have to consent to it. And I think people like put a lot of pressure mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't want to have sex when they do. I feel like a lot of 16 year olds, like, I don't even know why you're having sex cool, and unless you want to, but I'm just saying, a hey, Ron. I just felt like what Aaron said was really smart and it felt like a big CSI moment. So I was like, oh, he definitely mm -hmm. got him. That's it. Ooh. Uh, bummer, bummer, bummer. I wish I had like a virgin they... card I could show you guys or something. <laughs> like. If you think the mole is still in the box oh my God. and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. I'm just super curious why you two, I guess, 
didn't want to continue. Because I think it was Alex. Yeah, right. I think we are virgins. Yeah, I thought that what you said during the last round was super smart. It felt like a big CSI moment. It's just like, oh, if you're wrong, then like, I don't trust anything anymore. I think you definitely have the vibe of like a band kid who hasn't done it yet, which I can say because I used to be a band kid. <laughs> What'd you play? I played trombone. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but so <laughs> you're just thinking you're still a man. Yeah. Cool, dude. Well, here's the thing, Aaron, I think it's you. And and respectfully, you respectfully. Sure, sure. I think it's because you're imposing what you are on, mm. onto what Alex was. And that's maybe what you did, and I'm thinking that you're, mm. what's it it's called? Not. One more thing is just that because of, you know, your age and everything, I don't yeah. think age is, that's okay. should matter. That's okay. It's hard to believe, yes. Um, do you, I guess, like, what was your longest relationship? About a year, a little over a year. And then was there times where she wanted to, like, escalate it? Because I know you're, you know. I've only dated Christian right. women. Right. And so they've also wanted to maintain a oh. certain level of purity. Okay, I see. Ooh, he talks very Christian. Those are good buzzwords, but why do I feel like he's the mole? Man. But it's like good buzzwords. Watch words. it be the shortest guy, Matt. Oh! It just oh. seemed like he wasn't as confident as he was in the previous round, so I was like, okay, he gotta go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's kind of a, still in the box? I don't know if I like his attitude. Who's? Avery, Avron. Long hair guy? The lights turn yeah. green. That means nah, you have about voted them all out. Oh my god. I the lights I turn red. red. Okay, so if they turn red, they've lost. If they turn green, they win. Three. Oh my god. Two, one. Oh! What? It's oh, you, huh? No, it's you. You, you weren't no, surprised. You no, weren't surprised. It's you. you weren't surprised. No, you looked right at us. No. Look at, look at him! <laughs> 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 Who is it? Three that we left. So one of those. It's guys. the band guy. And I'm telling you, band guys get laid. I don't know. It's the three, band guy. Three, please step out. He one, is tall. It's the band guy. Two, three. We're all looking at him. What up, y'all? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> oh, you were God. right. He good. Come good on, for you him. were right. Oh, I knocked it out again. Wait, you were right. Uh, good for him. That fucking flamboyant. Sometimes they just fucking get yeah, it before makes, anyone He's else good. Does. He, I really genuinely. Like, oh, I wanted to see him, but then the way he was talking, I'm like, nah. But turns out he get hella meow meow. Well he that when he's like, girls don't like I to get this. I'm like, nice try. I literally, <laughs> the self-deprecation. The self-deprecation was really throwing me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I believed everything that you said. I mean, most of what I said was true. Those those personal stories, they were from before I, you know, did the honky donk. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> I trusted him. I was like, oh, he plays trombone, I play clarinet, Virgins, we're good. Go Wait, so when did you have sex then? Um, like eight times with, ah! or not eight times, with eight different people. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> he get meow, meow. The big thing, the most important thing that I'll probably say today, and that's to all of the young men out there oh my God, who oh my don't God. look conventionally uh, attractive and feel like they will never find love or sex because of it. No matter what you look like, there are plenty of people who are into that. It's just up to you to find them, Treat them with respect. He knows what's up. Have good hygiene. You'll be just fine. True. <laughs> I have a joke. How much does a roof cost? How much does it cost? Nothing. It's on the house. Oh. Oh, he's slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Button, a speed dating show. <laughs> the... <laughs> it's a slow, but I was like. <laughs> it took him a minute, or was he like, should I laugh? Oh, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, you didn't know what to do. I think maybe he was just so dumb. He was like, maybe he because I saw that shit. coming. So maybe he was like, oh, that was such a bad joke. Uh, and he's like, oh, you want me to laugh? But because he didn't laugh, they're not compatible. Is she also told it like pussy. If you're going to tell a dad joke, you just have to That's own. why I don't tell jokes, because I, I can't tell it funny. Like You got to just own that it's a dad joke. Though. Just be like, <laughs> but she didn't even do that. She was like, yeah, she yeah. failed. The button lights Can you have persistent red. powder my face Where? and like? And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen to the rules since you've never seen the button. Welcome to the button, a Top speed out. dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for ten minutes, they win an all-expenses-paid second date. This episode was made in partnership with Native. I love Native. Native I wear Native all the Sponsor me. I love you. I wear them nice. all the time. Will Twelve dollars a stick, though. Twelve dollars. Someone who's naughty. Nice. Wasn't good. I got Let's Arm and Hammer. It was good for me. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm Seth. I'm Alex. Alex, great nice to, to meet, meet you. you. 
What do you do for work? Uh, mechanical engineer. Okay, my sister's a civil engineer. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Are you really good at math? No, no. <laughs> Just... Can you give her three compliments? Three compliments. Uh, I love your I hair. Thanks. And your glasses. Thanks. And uh... I hate that shit. Mark, give me three compliments. Wow. I love your hair. And I love how comfortable you are being in your, like, lazy clothes. Hey, hey, this is a whole ghost poke shirt from Walmart. That's what I mean. These are Teddy Fresh. These are 80 bucks. And that's the last one or it would be a genuine. What would be the genuine fake compliment? No thing. I don't have anything yet. Oh, that's just two? Stupid. That stands out. I hate making three or five. Sometimes people are like five. And I'm like, five. That's a lot. And, uh, yeah, I like how you're matching. Mm. You got the purple, the blue. <laughs> Thank you. Looks Thank like you. Uh, you just got back from the uh, When We Were Young Festival. But only because I had to look Fair for enough. them. <laughs> Why did you reject him? I feel like his compliments were based just on my physical appearance. Well, well to be fair, you haven't talked that long. Yeah, he doesn't know anything yeah, about you! But you want, I'm going to be smart and- You look very intelligent. That's so fair, Button. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just like, it comes off insecure. She's like, you didn't even say There's anything about my There's a stereotype about certain people who are insecure already. So they pre-reject people. And then they choose as a shallow reason. Oh, you didn't say much about anything else about me. What else is there, bitch? You mentioned your sister. You didn't even- when I know, right? That's his job. Thinking. Oh, you, you want, is your sister prettier than you? Is that why? And so you thought of her? Like, I'm serious. I'm thinking that too. Insecurity. <laughs> Great to meet you, Alex. Good luck. Thank you. Sorry, Alex. That's okay, but I'm like, <laughs> that you just said my name. <laughs> it's like, very... is, is, there what? A, is there really a voice coming out of the box? Yeah, there's like a person in the back with like a fucking <laughs> like, microphone. Sorry, I don't know who does the voice of the That's button, though. It's a mystery. Do you have a crush on me? <laughs> a little tea. <laughs> I'm Alex. Goodbye. How are you doing, Alex? Nice to meet you. She was crushing on me. Who? I'm just a fan of the button. I'm just a big fan. Why are you a fan of the button, though? You jealous, Ken? He's I mean, I ain't really the jealous type. Like, I don't be in my <laughs> feelings like, like that. I know what I'm worth and what I look like. No offense. Yeah, you're Sorry. good. Why did he hit This me? man could do be doing anything else with his life. He looked at the camera and he's like, I'm not. <laughs> do you think he's high? Because honestly, he's like. Wait, what were you going to say I'm... about him? How old He's is just he like cute? very chill. Twenty three. Is he cute? Oh yeah. Yeah. Realizing I'm really looking for somebody's like personality <laughs> and someone's who they are on the inside, you know. Hey. Habibi, you're on the button. What personality on the inside? It's the button. Like that's what we She didn't people. give him what twenty she seconds. Didn't, she didn't. Or even he didn't even talk. I don't. You think. said it. What the hell? She crazy. You, you don't said dare it. Anybody, you're not gonna. That's what I'm saying. You're not giving anyone even a, even I wait for the whole date to finish for the most part. Damn, give a person an it's hour. It's like kind of like you need to wait for the the chorus. You can't just judge a song when you listen ten seconds in because mm. sometimes when you get the chorus and then you listen, you just like it all after a while. Mm. Mm. Ooh, look at this guy already. Do we like his arms? I kind of like them already. Okay, and let's... look, he's wearing short shorts. My name is Bonko. Nice to Ooh, meet you. Alex. Look at those thighs. So what do you do? Well, I'm a personal trainer. I like to work out. What do you do? Oh shit. Um, I work in board game development. Oh, <gasps> that's kind of cool. Board games. Actually, I do. Yeah. What board games do you like to play? It's like a Bulgarian ones. What's the name of the game? Shushka. Oh, okay. Very cool. <laughs> it's Bulgarian. They kind of match. But he wouldn't like her because, like, I don't think guys who go to the gyms. Well, maybe actually, there's a couple guys on TikTok. You know that couple on TikTok? She's fat and cute, and he's worked out. Uh, probably not. I saw them like a year what, ago. What is she going to be insecure that he's super in shape or what? Um, you well, or vice versa, where he maybe wants somebody more of the lifestyle because that's the question. Like, do you date people when you look at someone? Mm -hmm. I know it's weird for you because, like, when you look at people, you like want to get to know them. But like, do you ever think about lifestyle? Like one time, my partner yeah was talking about um, he's like, we're gonna do this and this, and he was talking about like all these adventurous stuff, and I was like, hey, just for the record, we're just like talking out of our asses right now. We're not actually gonna leave the house, right? And he's like, no, and I was like, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I don't actually want to leave the fucking house. Mm. But I love talking about it. Let's pretend we're going to go to Paris and do all these things that we're never going to do. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Are you from Bulgaria? Yeah, I'm from Bulgaria. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Wow. Why did you press? Because uh, just not my type. I'm sorry. No problem. Fair. What are you looking for? Well, uh, someone that uh, likes to work out and likes to have fun. Yeah. You like to work out? Uh, she looks like she works out. What kind of exercises do you like yeah, to work out the most? I do like oh um, high I'm intensity, talking. like interval. Weightlifting? Uh, sometimes. I really like Man, he's really like about the gym. I like mm. this room, actually. Okay. 
Mm. Tell him what? I don't feel a physical connection. Okay. He looks a little young for her. She looks like 40. Are you sweaty? Uh, kind one? of. I'm starting to in my 42? hair. 42? Do you need some deodorant? Wait, she's like 40, 42. <laughs> <laughs> it was in that box, I swear. <laughs> The button is so funny. Sometimes the button goes... That's the main, my main part of the show that I like. So. No, the button is so funny. Like no, when they I were like... Like when they told the girl, like, she's been pressing me. <laughs> I don't think I even heard that. I didn't, didn't There's say so like many that. funny episodes of the show. She There's one with a furry. What? Like a full-on furry costume. There's an episode with a furry. Yeah. Yeah, they were all into that, so... You know, no judgment. I'm in BDSM. Yeah, I can't judge. Um, like, you know what I mean? Naughty or nice? Uh, definitely naughty. Adi. I'm Lana. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, okay. A little bit about yourself. Uh, I read a lot. Nice. Okay. He's too young. What's it? What's No, wait, actually... Right wait. Um, I just actually got done reading, like, a business leader book. Mm -hmm. He's too young. I think he beat ya. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Thank you. Hi. Bye. I'm Adi. Paula, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Absolutely you. not. I really like your name. Actually, oh, thank you. Yeah. What is your full name? Oh, uh, well, my full name is Aditya. Aditya? No, Adi sorry. No, no, no. You, you got right. Say oh, Aditya? Aditya? Yeah, that was good. Okay. They kind of name is simple. Do they kind of look like each other, like siblings? I wasn't looking at that. Let me see. Paula. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why they kind of like vibes. <laughs> this is not my type. But I really like your name, though. I love the That's name. That's okay. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. Hi. I'm Adi. I'm Annika. Nice to meet you. They're nice not, to meet you. They're not a match either. Nice. Thank you. Of course What's they're... your type? Why? Why are they a match? Why? Why? Because they look so different. <laughs> right. Different. Different tropes. Right. Like Di different. Yeah. Totally different. Like I. Um. Okay, hmm. but our family, like especially mom, we're very much like couples should match. Like they should aesthetically be. First, the they're, same. they're like opposites attract, and then. Like, then the mom, mom, but they mom looks out the window. <laughs> they don't match. They don't match. Like, people should... You know how mom and dad get ready to go to events and they look really good? Have you seen them try to dress up? No, probably for not. For church? No, not just for church. Like, weddings and stuff. Like, you know our cousins? Like, their friends' cousins? You know who I'm talking about? I don't want to say their names. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know how they look really good? Like, they dress up. Like, they, they look like they match. Yeah. You know, these people don't match. They but don't, them, they're I'm, not in the I'm same like, lifestyle. I, like, I, I just look at them and I'm like, they're not going to have the same inter interests. Exactly. Like, I already know she's going to be into other shit. Like, yeah. Now that you need to have every interest with your partner, but I mean, like, there needs to be enough overlap that you're not completely Unless that's what you world. want. Like, like, per se, like. What a fucking headache, though. Yeah. If you... I, I mean, it's totally a thing, but it's, oh my God, look at that video. Who's the sluttier sibling? Weird. I don't think I want to, like, I don't know. It's like I don't a know. weird. It's dangerous. Obviously, me. Sloot. Sloot is a, a more nice oh. way of saying slut, even though slut's not even that bad. Who came up with sloot? That's not a thing. Sloot. Didn't you say that? Am I the genius? Why do I feel like that? I got that from you or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sloot. Um, yeah, I like girls who are like funny. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I like to laugh a lot, so I like to make people laugh. Make him laugh. Yeah. Make him laugh? Um, okay, <laughs> I have got a so nervous. How much does it really cost? How much does it cost? Nothing. It's on the house. Oh, yeah. he just in like Come the on, Okay, out of out of context, like it looked like he was just slow, but I just think he doesn't like it. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I would have laughed, but she also just like pussied out. She's like, like, it's like okay, uh, that, it's good. nothing. It's on the house. I mean, like it's on the. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna do a dad joke. I get. It. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, nice to meet you. It was really nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. All right, your next day is like coming her. in. Oh, she got cool. it. Nice. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Anna. They match more. I'm John. Um, so what do you do for work? They're both um, awkward I'm as hell. I'm a and I. They're both autistic and weird as hell. I love them, in the good way. We have a lot of people on the spectrum <clears throat> in my audience, but you see how they're both like socially awkward in just like the perfect way. I I'm not diagnosing anyone. I'm just saying they're both awkward in the same I way. I teach like performing arts classes for high school students. Oh, that's cool. I'm also a teacher. Yeah, what do you teach? Uh, I'm oh, a preschool so teacher. Um, so I teach kids who are between the ages of three and six. What do you? Yeah, what do you teach? Uh, I'm a preschool teacher. Preschool, um, cute. So I teach kids who are between the ages of three and six. Right now, I'm an assistant, but I'm working towards becoming a lead teacher at some point. Cool. They literally Annika. have she like, doesn't like the guitar. Does she like? You do. Oh, her name is Annika. Though they have um very like similar though like um facial like something about their faces are very similar 
Oh, that's yeah. super cool. Thanks. Um, do you ever perform anywhere? Not really right now. Mainly just like for it's my It's their friends. eyes. She has softer face and he has more angular, but their eyes are very like and like my friends and stuff just for fun. But what are what are you looking for in a relationship? Um, so I'm looking for something long term. I don't want to just date someone for a couple of days and then just yeah. be done with each other. So something like serious? Yeah. Do you want to like get married and stuff? Eventually, yes. But you know, of course, it would be a, a case where my we have to, to know each other first. Yeah, I, I, I don't think she. Oh, I'm not ready anymore. It was, it was, it was yeah. rather right than it wasn't. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Looks like John beat you to it. That's okay. Uh, okay. I'm just not really looking for anything serious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, nice. That was hilarious. <laughs> Bro, he yeah, came in. I knew she didn't like it. Oh, it's so. Nice to meet you, though. You seem great. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. I like her nice outfit. Nice to meet you, too. I would say Can I ask outfit, what you do for work? Outfit, right? I'm a bartender. You are. What do you do? Uh, I'm a preschool teacher. Yeah. Jackie, do you get naughty or nice vibes from John? John is giving really nice vibes. Well, that's good to hear. Do you have a little bit of a bad side? Um, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll think of something interesting to say. Um, I guess you could say, um... Okay. He just seems a little nervous. I'm sorry. Okay. It's all right. Nice to meet Bye, you, John. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. He was really nervous. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> do you do that to men, Jackie? <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> I'm Jackie. Calvin. Okay. Calvin. I've been trying to explain to my audience, like how people are unique, but we are all tropes. Like there's a bunch of people like us in the world. Like I've met so many Jackies. I've met that, so many Jackie? girls like Jackie. Yeah. I've met so many girls like that other guy oh, who's yeah, just here. Sure. Uh, guys just like that other guy. Like, I meet people who are like that all the time. And then you look at you and you wonder, like, who am I? Where do I fit in? Like, where do I fit in? I definitely see myself in a lot of people. I'm like, oh, there I am. There I am. There I am. And I then wouldn't be it's on never this 100%, button show. I would never be on the button. You would never be on the button. My partner would never be on the button. But do we like to watch this shit? It's so funny. I mean, I don't like to watch. You know what I usually watch is my friends or people I know or YouTubers I like react to this. Yeah. That's what I like about the button. But also, I just like seeing people like in a 10 minute dating show. They can't even last 10 minutes on a date. I'll need to see the handshake again, please. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> also, I feel I'm like Jackie. I'm Sorry, I feel like my breath is really rosemary right now and garlic. My bad. I never did this one. Okay, great. Did that to men, Jackie? <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> I'm Jackie. Calvin. Calvin, nice, nice to meet you. He's cute. Tell me about you. I was a dance and psychology major, and mm. now I take classes every once in a while. Um, I have a job where I get to dance and serve at the same time. Can you dance, Calvin? I, I do dance, yes. What kind of dance do you do? I took a private bachata lessons. Oh. Bachata? I took a couple of bachata classes. Oh, wow. You two should dance together right now. Right now? Let's see the chemistry here. Oh, okay. I'm nervous. Oh, oh they weren't set up with the lights. Bichata, bichata, bichata. That was adorable. You're adorable, too. The button or me? Both of you. Oh, okay. Do we like him or do we hate him? Well, I don't like her I think either. he thinks he's hot, and I hate him for that. But he is hot. But I also like She thinks she's hot, too. I think she thinks she's cute and kind of hot. I think she thinks she's a seven. She's a little awkward. And I think he thinks he's a ten, and he's more like a seven, and she's more like a six. He's not even a seven, but okay. he's not a seven. I don't know. I don't. Think nice so. skin, good hair, nice features. He styles himself, kind of that punk rock, like you know, Jesus earrings, but like. Mm -hmm. He can pass as a lesbian too, but. We love a lesbian. Yeah. Thank you. Let's test some intimacy. Okay. Hold each other's hands. You wanna hold hands? Sure. She's like really like dance her posture. Smell? Smell each other. Ew. Okay. I will do <laughs> Ew, if you like smell the hands randomly through the day, like did I just wash my hands five seconds ago? No, then my hand smells like whatever I've been touching. Like, you know what I mean? Like what if it smells like my cat? I don't like people smelling my hands. That's weird. I don't want to smell people's. Well, I do well, like she, smelling my she, partner's. She, before skin. this, I probably would have put cologne on though on my under, That's my true. Wrist, That's true. Is he going to be really sexual about it? I hate it already. <laughs> <clears throat> I like that. Do you think he chose a naughty or a nice scent? Oh, they did choose. I think he they chose put lotion a naughty on. Scent. They put lotion on. You chose on. nice? Yes. Candy cane? Might have been it, yeah. Are you sweet like a candy cane? I am. Oh, okay, that's a cheat. So Native sponsored the video, so they put on lotions and deodorants before they started.
Oh, okay. This is a little bit of a cheat. Cute. Is this gonna happen? Why not? I'm open to it. I'm open to it. Yeah. Let's go on a second She's date. She's doubting okay. it. <laughs> She's doubting it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna light up red one Hold last on. time. She's gonna Don't click it. Me. She's gonna hit, hit it. Or he's gonna hit it. Someone's gonna hit it. Which one? Which one? Which one? No. He, she. Congratulations! What? You two really? Oh. <laughs> I think she thinks he's out of her league, and I think she, he's not out of her league. So we have a yeah, gift from Native. We're gonna similar. give you some. Okay, we don't need to like see the products though. Thank you. Okay, ready. Nice to meet you. You too. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, it didn't turn red yet. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the bottom. What are you show. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is my favorite. Nice like, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm sorry. Oh, it didn't turn red yet. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the button, a speed so dating show. When the button lights <laughs> turn <in> red. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Why did she say no physical I guess? Like, she was just like, yeah, probably she's he's like a white guy. She's like a black girl. That alone for some people is enough. Hi. Oh. How are you? Mm -hmm. Doing pretty well. You two have similar vibes. Do we, what's this vibe that Yeah, what's the similar yeah. vibe? Like aesthetic. I feel like Okay. Okay. Because they both have long and darker. Do you find each other? <laughs> but yeah, I think we what is she? Is she punk? Is she country? What is she? I feel like she looks like she would be more awkward than she is. Yeah, I feel that too. I feel the same about him, but at the same time, I feel like they're both really comfortable yeah. with who they are in a weird way. <laughs> oh, you're waiting for me to go first. Uh... I wish you would like <laughs> conditioner. Yeah. yeah, I don't really like guys with long hair. Hi. Hello, I'm, I'm Nicole. Nicole, I'm growing my hair out. See, he's handsome. Ryan was in the army. He looks like he was in the, army. in the army. I was in the army, yeah, from 2012 to 2016. Mm. Oh, I was the first guy. Oh, <laughs> Why did you press me? I don't know, man. Something about army guys. <laughs> Why do you hate our troops? Ah! Why do you hate our I troops? No, I <laughs> this don't. Button They're just around. very, like, oh. I don't know, overly masculine. Hi. He's so funny. I'm Nicole. Nicole. Is it even oh, a girl? Oh, so what do you, I, oh what that's do a great question, fun? Mark. What do I do for fun? Video games. I don't think so. I've always thought the button was a girl. I what if it's not a girl? I don't know. I didn't even really imagine a guy or a girl. I just kind of Maybe thought. it's a non-binary. It's an edited voice. It's a what? It's edited. Like oh. the voice, so it doesn't I don't know. Mostly. How you would no. describe What kind of video games? Yeah, they're absolutely not. Um, so the last one I put. <laughs> not me, am I right? Why did you reject what kind them? Of because there's more to life than video games. I like video games. Hi. <laughs> it's just throwing so much shade. Is it your mission shade. to get me out? Is everyone, like, angry? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. I've heard about you, though. Ah! Jesus. <laughs> what if they said... Oh, I knew it! Ouch. You almost murdered yeah, the okay. button. No, it's okay. I'll take it personally. <laughs> Please be gentle with me. I, I I will do my best. I tend to not uh, pay attention to how hard I can go sometimes. Just uh, that a sex thing. <laughs> uh, I mean, horrible then. Okay, Travis. <laughs> How's it going? He's I'm nervous, good. right? How are you? Uh, I'm, yeah, you know, I'm doing all right. It's, I'm she not seems really like she's got her heart broken a lot. By this time, I usually have had like two. She's friends, very like. like that. Look at her. Okay. Crumb. Um, what do you do? The crap. She oh, she's judgy. Get, uh, okay. She's judgy. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> Look at her face, it's so. He's not my type. Next date, please. Hi. Is she too weird for the crop top? Something my name's Daily. Weird. Nice to meet you. I didn't get the memo. She about, told me. <laughs> She's like, 41, yeah. did you not notice the furry walked in? Yeah, so yeah I noticed. I'm, what do you call a furry? And I just dress up and I put smiles on people's faces. So. Do you have like multiple or is it. I only have one. <laughs> I did it first. <laughs> careful, careful. Oh. Yeah, you're rejected. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 don't hold it. You're good. Don't. You seem lovely. I'm Patty. She is so I'm judgy. Patty. I love her, nice though. Nice to meet you. Patrick and Patty. Yeah. Patty, are you a virgin? A virgin? No, I'm not. Are you a virgin? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. You usually have to tell people that first off the bat on a date? Or you usually just casually no, ease into it I just, it I just keep you at the end to okay. there like, yeah. have a conversation. <laughs> Nice. Okay, okay. That was so awkward. Why did you reject her? Ah, uh, is it because she's not a virgin? No, it's because she's older than me. Yeah, that's so true. She's what? Uh, I can tell. Older. Yeah, he's obviously younger. Maybe it's kind. 
I'm scared, but I'm, I'm excited. Why are you scared? Uh, first time doing this. Can you tell me more about yourself? Uh, I'm a student. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How old are you? Uh, I'm 23. Oh, okay. 20. <laughs> What's your dating age range? Above 25 and then stopping at like 36. You have a nice smile on this teeth. You do too. Are you from LA? I'm really from Uganda. Okay. I was born there. Mm -hmm. I moved out here when I was like one. So you're from here, kind of. Mm. No, I understand. Yeah. Okay. She doesn't get it. She's too American. <laughs> I, I think what I said. Last year. I feel good. Okay, so one thing that's big for me is music. Music. Yeah. So can you give me like a top five? I like more like hip hop, mm -hmm. R and B. <laughs> Do you like to dance? I like to dance. What about you? No, I just was having fun. I cannot dance at all. Bro, everybody can dance. No. Everybody. Prove it, Prove it Jordan. Oh, this is fun. Oh. I appreciate you. You are fun, though. We could be friends. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> sorry. What? Didn't turn red yet. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Okay. Look, I'm he's Gabrielle. just like not phased. Give each other a chance. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. give each other a chance. Let's, let's. Yeah. Okay, let's you and I. Come on. I do see you as a friend. Though. No! <laughs> I do see you as a friend. What's your name? <laughs> I hate that she does that. Bitch, nobody wants to be a friend. No one wants to be a friend. Nobody wants to be a friend. We're yeah, never going to talk after this fuck. show. Oh, no, we're never going to see each other again. Right, I'm Joel. Nice to meet you. you Ooh, I like I'm her a, outfit. Yeah, going. Good. I'm a little nervous. I yeah. want that outfit. Nervous? Yeah, like my hands were like freezing earlier. Just like, yeah. So I like I see. Cold. Okay, I'm gonna say it out loud because I want to make a whole video about this. About the saying you're nervous or what? No, oh. it's about holding weight. Not all fat people are unattractive, like fat phobia would convince you of. She's a very beautiful fat girl. I think she's pretty. It's though. not everyone's body type. He's a very lanky, slouchy, tall guy. Not my favorite body type. I would prefer her over him, just because of the way she holds herself over him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure, I totally get that. It's like I, she I, holds her. And look how cute she is. She like look. Her face is gorgeous. Her hair is gorgeous. Her, her hair, outfit's yeah. gorgeous. Like her confidence or like. It's about how you hold your body. Yeah, for it's sure. It's not about skinny or fat. I refuse to believe it. Exactly. Mm. Nervous, yeah. but um. He's like very homeschooler. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You've been rejected, Joel. Why did you ask me? It was a little bit like for Yeah, she's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> All right. How's your day going? Ooh, I'm oh, he's back good. up. I got pressed so fast last time. Oh, you've you've been here before? Like, you've done it? <laughs> we went through the whole thing already. Like, oh, we were wow, really? Looping back around. Yeah. Why do you think you got asked before? <laughs> well, I don't think we found each other attractive. Oh, okay. That's like, like a I said it and she. And she. Ooh. I thought you were about to do it. So I, I thought you were about to. I was, I was like. I, I won't do example. it quickly if you don't do it quickly. Okay. Can we make a truce? Sure. Why are humans so scared of rejection? Rejection sucks. Easy. Who would like it? Right. And I yeah. think yeah. like most people are pretty Refreshing, I feel like, some, a lot of the time. Talk about it. Like, hmm, I guess I used to be really, like, I, I still am, like, really weird rejecting people. Mm. Like, I feel bad. And then when someone says no to me, I'm like... Cool, like, uh, I like literally won't even think about this in a bad way. I've never thought, I think, because when I was really little, you know, when you just think you're so ugly as a kid, I literally pray just one person on earth thinks I'm attractive and I'll be okay. That is literally what I thought. And then when I found out more than one person thinks I'm attractive, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I don't really care anymore. Like, I, I already appreciate the people who do think that. Mm -hmm. So, like, rejection is easy peasy. And, and also, it's like, but now you don't have to even sometimes like you're a little pressured like I am anyway when I when someone does think I'm attractive or I feel like I'm more aware of my looks and stuff. It's maybe a little more stressful. It might not be the right word. Mm -hmm. But when they say no, you're like, oh, cool. I can just be ugly. No, <laughs> when I get rejected, all those like whatever feelings I had go. Whoop, and I'm like, oh, OK, next. Oh, cool. Like my brain just goes next person. But I also think of it as like a consent. Thing. But like I've also been the guy who always tells my friend they're hot. Like yeah. in, in my group, even today, like they all know I think they're attractive and we still hang out at each other's house and have sleepovers and we don't care. But no sex, no kissing. No kissing. And they don't think that about me. Wait, I no just like, I just like, yeah, yeah, of course, for sure. Yeah. 
And I'm like, always have been okay with that. I've never felt like a third wheel or anything like that. Like, I, I don't like really. I think it's our family. I think we're obnoxiously confident. All of us, like even the but ones... also just really realistic. I feel like yeah, we try to like live in reality as much as possible. I mean, give or take. But yeah, like even the ones that are like virginal, um, by choice or whatever, they're like, yeah, why wouldn't I be? What the fuck? It's like like they're I'm... just like, what the? Why is that even a question? I'm Catholic, so like it's like very like it is what it is. Like you know, instead of like you know, but the rest of us who maybe left the church, you know. And I remember Ike was glad I had sex at 22 out of mom and dad's house. <laughs> I felt like no guilt over sex. I've never felt guilty over my sex because I was just like, what am I guilty over? Mm-hmm. But I was also, I stopped believing in God by the time I had sex. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Right? So like rejection <clears throat> is part yeah. of that. I think, so. I think we think that it reflects something about us as a person. Where sometimes, <gasps> they now it's like a stick. I think it's a tie, so we're going to reject both of you. Nice. Oh. That makes sense. Okay. okay. All right, cool. Hello. 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 What's your name? Kat. Hi, I'm Jordan. Oh. Nice to meet you. See, I, I don't have, have seen see, that. Can you pause it? Yeah, it annoys me. They both just said like I won't go I won't go for it fast. But you know? they did. I, I would be like, no promises. We'll see who gets there first. You know, I would People be, are liars. Why? It's like so think, fucking awkward and annoying. Okay, here's a question. You're dating someone, you do something that's like like just your thing, and then your partner's like, babe, not cute. What do you think? Wait, say that again. Like what if you're doing something? No, no, I have to give a better example. Um or that doesn't What if you what if look. you like what's well, something you do like do you paint mark mm. do you have hobbies no besides outdoorsy stuff but i'm what? trying to think of a good example well basically the example was okay if your partner asks you like what am i on a scale of one to ten what do you say ten if my partner asks me what what they are ten because why would i date a not ten but they're not literally a ten but to me, they're a 10. Right. So, like, what if they wanted the objective? Like, what am I? Oh, then I would tell them, like, totally. What about it? Like, oh, you're, you're, I, I'm sure everyone else thinks you're a seven. Everyone else thinks you're a three. But to me, you're a That 10. was like a big contention. That's always like a big contention on the internet. It's if like, they want to know the lie? truth, I'm not going to fucking lie to them. It, and I wouldn't date someone who's a pussy like that anyway. But he said it here, girls. 5'11 and a half. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm about to say. Don't ask me a okay. question if you want to be for fun. Uh, Wait, my what you sister go what did you say? Get... Don't ask me a question if you can't take the answer or you're not open to both answers. Like, do I look good in this in this clothing? I hate when my friends ask me that because I'm not even a fashion person. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm sure to like the modeling industry <laughs> and those fancy people, they would love this stuff. But to me, it looks super stupid. So don't ask me if you're in a cry. Do you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> Of course. Because I'm like... No, no, no. My friends and I started doing this. Like, instead of saying, um, do you think I look at it and say, hey, you know what style I'm going for, right? Do I... Did I accomplish it? Okay, yeah. Because, you know... Okay, so my friend is a model and, like, those poses models do, like, the super serious faces. I don't like it. But every photo she smiles in, I'm so biased. I'm like, I love this photo because you're smiling or there's a little smirk right there um, or you're showing your teeth. Um, But the other ones like look very uninviting to me and you're like mm-hmm. a cold person like cold yeah yeah or like you're a bitchy and you're, mm-hmm. you're not happy about your life that's what those models come off but on the billboards in la like passing all those signs in mm-hmm. beverly hills they're all making those faces so she fits in so well so yeah, yeah so yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. to me i don't like it but like but if you're trying to go for mainstream shit to them yeah yeah that's like what they want exactly yeah, a lot of coffee try different coffees around the city try different beer um depends on the time of day i guess do you drink too much <clears throat> my mother might say i drink too much but i feel like others think i drink just enough what does booze taste like booze or boobs please clarify both both, both. Do you swing both ways? No. All right, so boobs taste like... I feel like it tastes like any other part of your body. <laughs> oh, you don't know? Let me know. tell you. I guess, that's true. What's yeah. your favorite part of a body to taste? Boobs. Boobs? He's going with boobs? Yes. Um, I'm a lip gal, so I mean... A lip? Yeah. Wait, how, how often do you see like the space needle? Like uh, every day? Sorry, you've been rejected, Jordan. Why did you reject him? I uh, didn't feel the, the spark. Hello. <laughs> She's nice. Ryan. I'm Kat. Nice okay, what do you think Kat, about nice them? Nice to meet you. Hello. Oh, they look well. They match together, right? Yeah, I totally. didn't know about that until like eight. <laughs> what does that mean? 
I mean, I was a last minute switcheroo. <laughs> oh, you were forced to be here? Or did you no, not against my will. It was oh, so you are voluntary. dating. You are single. Yes, I am single. They when did not bring time? a take it person here. <laughs> what do you do for work? Um, I'm a software engineer. Oh, wow. Yeah. What do you do? I do construction or like uh, carpentry. Nice. Wood and good skill. And you fences. build stuff. That's interesting. I do. That's yeah. a good yes. skill. If I built something, it'd fall over. So that's attractive. Well, Kudos. <laughs> I can teach you. Hello. Mine's kind of cute. You're very attractive. <laughs> so you're, you're, yeah, you're very, very attractive. And you're a, she likes a it, software right? engineer. That's way smarter than me. No. What turns you guys on? What turns you on? Yes. <laughs> um, depends on the situation. Engineer. It's like, oh, he can fix something. Like that's cool. Or, that is oh, hot. He can lift that because I can't. Like that's the turn. Ryan fixes things. <laughs> How tall are you? <laughs> Always the question. No, um, I'm like almost six foot. Okay, I'm yeah. six two, so Perfect. I can definitely reach higher than you. Yeah. Do you have any hidden talents? I bake things. Like you I'm bake really things. good at baking. I read a lot. That's like my hobby. I read a lot of stuff that my pastor tells me to read. Are you very religious? I don't know what that that question means. Are you religious? Anymore. I meet with my pastor pretty like once a month just to talk to him. Like having another male role model in your life because I don't I don't have a dad right now or dad in general. Pastor be my daddy. To lay on the first date. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you date people who believe in God? Oh uh, yeah. What is that? Which God? Um. Oh, like hardcore religious? Or yeah. Believe in, I just believe in a God. Oh, I guess if they're gay, because, like they can't. They're probably not going to be hardcore religious. But like, yeah, what if they're like, Um. I feel like God brought us together. Oh, I'm okay with that because I translate it to that what I pray to because I do pray to whatever power in you. The universe. And I, I think that. Like me. So you're like spiritual. Yeah, exactly. So like, for example, <clears> like <throat> I believe what I'm praying to, you know, is exactly what mom is praying to. So when mom says God, I'm like, that word does not like turn me off anymore at all. Because I think all of these religions saying, oh, these things are happening because we're praying for it. I'm like, yeah, that's because we're all praying to the same thing. In yeah. my opinion, that's what I believe right now. Anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. I'm definitely, uh, yeah, I'm not like super open but to like very spiritual to. When people. I, when but when I did hear people like even mention God when I was younger, it sure. just was a turn off. Like I think right we away. all go through that stage when you leave religion. Yeah. And you're like so annoyed with it. You're like, yeah. and then you get over it. But now I totally relate in a different way. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I totally get that. Like, Yeah, definitely. I think you're, yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Deal breaker for you? It's not a deal breaker. I'm just very not religious. Sorry, mom. <laughs> but Is if that they, a deal like, breaker for you? Force me to go to church and the kids. I'm like, oh. That's what I mean. Like, no. I have to have. Or like, they have. They they want to get me on their religion bandwagon. They're like, come on, I just want you to go to church with me just once. In their mind, they're like, I'm gonna make him go every week. That's fucking weird to me. Did I tell you that mom asked if what if my partner um converted to Catholicism? And I was like, I'd ask him to go to therapy. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then same when I asked him, <laughs> he, he said said the same thing. He's like, babe, if you started going to church, I'd be like, babe, we need therapy. I was like, I know. I'm like, is this like the the low? Are you high rock bottom? Are right you now? manic? Like, are you this, manic? Is this borderline? Is this, are you slipping into an episode? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But then, yeah, okay, yeah. I kind of see how they're vibing. But then all of a sudden, she's like worried, and I'd be worried too if I was her because I'd be like. I don't know, like, how much into God are you? But, like, it also, I think what he said makes a lot of sense. Men who don't have role models, who's better than a, pa like, who's better than a church man, right? Like, yeah, somebody, that, should, or a military guy. She or should somebody. ask, would you be okay with if your partner was an atheist or something? Oh, yeah. No, my mom's not religious either. <laughs> oh. What do you do for a She didn't grow up religious, hobby? I guess. Um, me and my sisters, like, try out different breweries around town. Oh, really? Yeah, so. There's one opening up today. Because <gasps> now I might have plans this afternoon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With Ryan? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, this button's killing me. Oh, they're so awkward. Ryan, they're so out. they're cute. I love no, them. No, I wanted them to get together. Uh I'm definitely super nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, would you would you want to go out again? Sure, I'll go out with you again. Do I Congratulations. Them? Oh sweet. You have won the button. Now get out of here. Do I get to take the button? I wanna you you take the it? button. Oh, no, I wanna know where they are. They're still, they're still dating. <laughs> Did you hear that? The button was like, leave me alone. All right, what bitches, like, line up the game is officially that... out now. This is Deadass, one of the most fun games I've played in a while. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet oh it is. Ain't that the button? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so interested. I want to know who the button is. That would be the greatest reveal of all time. Who Wait, is are you going to do another video? No, I think we're done. Okay. Thanks for being on my podcast. Yay. Because everything else I had planned fell through. Yay! Mark was here. Did it. We did it. Thanks for this podcast. I hope it was good. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.
Gotta pee. <laughs> my life. In my head, in real life while in bed, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking, yeah. Sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool. Dun, dun, dun.